Hey, welcome to this tutorial from wallpaper to reality. So I got a lot of questions from people asking me how I created this image. This is like an iPhone and it pops out and the guy also pops a little bit out. So I want to do recreate this image in, uh, in Canva to show you how I do it. Some elements, uh, some, uh, some actions require you to have Canva Pro. But there are other solutions as well for uh, removing backgrounds and stuff like that. But let me just go and start and show you how to do it within Canva. So first we start with the image. Let me go down. And this is the image that I got. I got it from, from one of those free stock image websites. I think it's Canva, uh, sorry, I think it's Pexels or uh, Unsplash. And what I do with the image first, I make the image bigger to cover all the, all the white space, okay? so like this boom and now if you look up I also cut the image like on top and on the bottom so I want to cut the image I'm gonna make it smaller so I'm gonna make it I'm gonna cut it on the top and I'm gonna cut it on the bottom as well like a little bit higher depending on, your, on where you want to have the iPhone just slightly pop out like you see my, my iPhone is like popping out on top and on, on the bottom and I really like that effect it gives it more depth so what I'm gonna do is I create the same image I go and copy this image okay copy and paste and I'm gonna paste it at the same position as the other as the back on, as, as the one on the background okay so place it on top of each other but now now I have two images okay so let me just move it up to so you can see I have two images on top of each other so I put them on top of on top of each other okay and then I go and I'm gonna look for elements I'm gonna search for an iPhone in the elements you're gonna search for an iPhone and you will find different iPhones there's one like this one where you can uh, replace the inside with an image but I just use another one without replacing the inside it's just a frame like this okay I think it's uh, it makes the it makes it a little bit easier. So let me just make it bigger and put it just over the guy's knee a little bit on the right side here. If you go to my other to the to one I the one that I created and you will see also I created I have another iPhone. I use some different elements. Not all elements are from uh, Canva, but for this um, for this tutorial I'm going to use everything within Canva. But I have like the iPhone just a little bit you see that the guy is just a little bit out of the uh, out of out of the iPhone frame with his knee and his elbow let me create the same effect here you see it's almost the same okay his knee is a little bit out and his elbow also okay that's the first step now that we have that the image that we have uh, that we have the the second image we're gonna make it fit the iPhone okay so we're gonna bring it all the way to the iPhone to the iPhone yeah like this and the other side as well bring it all the way to the iPhone and we're gonna cover it also on top to the top like this and also to the bottom cover it okay now there's like it seems like the iPhone is um, the image on the iPhone is also uh, completely in the iPhone but the background is cut cut in uh, cut in half or just cut a little bit let me cut a little bit more so you can see the effect that I'm talking about okay so now that we have this uh, we have the iPhone popping out you want also the guy to pop out so we click on the image again the image that we created and, ag and again we're gonna copy the image control C control V control V so now we have the image again and now what you want to do is you want to go to effects you want to remove the background if you don't have Canva Pro you cannot do this within Canva what you can do is you can go to remove.bg and you will uh, have the same uh, effect now you see the guy pops out you see boom it pops out so now I want to make it a little bit smaller because I don't want all the images to be the same um, same formats because it, it creates a little bit of a mess and what you will see is that the, the the foot of the guy is just a little bit 
into the iPhone's frame and I don't, I don't like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the iPhone a little bit this way so that the guy's foot gets like on the rock I want to make it that it's on the rock and what I want to do is also the image behind it moves a little bit alongside with the um, with the iPhone so I'm gonna move the iPhone backwards just to grab the image again grab this image and what I want to do is cut the image just so it stays in the iPhone put it here again a little bit and now position it backwards again so now you have the effect that I was talking about that I showed you this is the the, the effect but now I want to add some subtleties so let me show you what I'm gonna do so first what you want to create is the effect that the iPhone inside the iPhone it should be uh, it should be brighter than uh, behind the iPhone so let me position the iPhone backwards so I can grab the image and when, once you grab the image you're gonna go to adjust and you're gonna make the blur effect you're gonna do it backwards so you make it sharper so just a little bit just like let's say 30 okay put it on 30 make it sharp or even 23 it doesn't have to be that sharp then you go to the image behind the image behind and you want to adjust that as well so you're gonna adjust that and you want to make that blurry but just slightly just like let's say one let me go to one okay a little bit blurry and then you're gonna go to contrast no sorry saturation saturation you will also saturate the background and make it look like remove some color okay just like this almost as if you're going to black and white but not completely so now you will see that the difference between the background and the image within the iPhone is different the iPhone has a more sharper image so let me put this image back to the background so it's behind the iPhone and now you see there's a difference within the iPhone and the background I have this subtle effect here as, as well you see just a slightly different um, effect within the iPhone size slightly different color than from the background that makes it pop out so this is the effect and now what you want to do is yeah you want to create like the effects of a phone and you also want to create put text and everything I don't have to explain to you how to do text but let me just do a play button play play button just pick a play button like the red one here and you put it just in the middle and you what I'd like to do is make it a little bit transparent just like a real like on a real iPhone you know just it's, it's a little bit transparent and yeah you just put it in the middle just look for a good spot where you where you think it might fit I think the middle is the best option now I have it here and then I want to add let me just copy and paste the text because I don't have to explain how to create text within Canva and control V so I just copy the text from above put it here I'm gonna copy the other text as well control C control V and I'm gonna put it here and also to make it even more subtle you will notice my iPhone has a little bit of like a shade if you every iPhone has like a shade on top and sometimes also even at the bottom but I didn't want to create one at the bottom because the shade on top I think it's beautiful so what I'm gonna do is you're gonna go to elements and you're gonna type in uh, sorry gradient and here you will find a gradient that that goes from color to non-color this one it's it's like it has a purple color you will turn it okay 90 degrees and put it over your iPhone okay over the screen of your iPhone your iPhone you make it a little bit smaller on the sides a little bit smaller so it fits the iPhone screen okay and then you make the purple you make it white to create that 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 fade effect okay so once you have that let me just click on the side so you will see that it, it is on over the iPhone 
so once you have that you're gonna do you're gonna click on it and position it backwards let me just go scroll on top so I can see it goes backwards backward 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 and now it's backwards to just over the image and behind the iPhone and you will see the, the effect like it has like a fade effect so this is yeah this is my image this is the from wallpaper to reality now you can do the rest of the work and finish it off with your text with everything that you like and try to create a similar effect that I use here so good luck and if you come up with your own design you can uh, share it in my group I would be happy to uh, give some critique and uh, good luck and I will see you very soon in the next video